Welcome to EM Client. This is desktop email software for uh, Windows and Mac. What's particularly good about EM Client is the way that it integrates with Gmail. It's a pretty consistent experience throughout. However, labels and tags, as they're called in EM Client, aren't exactly perfect. And that's what I want to talk about today. So overall, tag information is transferred from EM Client, sorry, from Gmail to EM Client. You can see that some of my emails here do have tags applied to them. You've got my TDCAT tech tag and you've got a personal tag down here. So there is information that comes across. I'll show you that in Gmail itself in my uh, somewhat filtered inbox so that it's uh, YouTube friendly. And I can you know, create a tag in, uh, in Gmail and I can right click on it and I can go to my label. Sorry, I can keep calling them tags. They're of course called labels in uh, Gmail. And let's say I just want to make this uh, the business tag. So I'm going to apply the business tag to this top email here with the one that's about the Motorola. And if I go back to EM client now, I can refresh and I have the business tag applied to it. And that's fine. That works well. However, if I go to menu and go to tags, I have no business tag in there because you can't manage any of your tags through EM client because they're not really tags at all. They're just markers and they're just labels on the email supplied by Google. So you've got no way of managing managing them as such. Also, there's no color information transferred through to EM client. So the business one here is blue because it just happens to have chosen that color, I think. However, I've specifically made it red and there's a reason I've made it red and my eye is attracted to that particular color for that particular email type because I'm used to it. It's important, you know, color makes a big difference. So how do you get your EM client to work better with Gmail? The way you do it is you create a replica, you can recreate a duplicate tag of this Gmail label. I'll show you what I mean. So at the moment we've got this label coming through and it's showing as a business tag. So if I go to menu and I go to tags and I add in business into here, and then I can actually choose a color and say, I want to make it this red color and I'll definitely use it for males. Apply there, save and close. And now it makes that link between the two. So we now have a kind of link be between EM client and it says, ah, right, okay, I've got a label that comes through from Gmail that's also called business. So I'm gonna give it the same color because it's got exactly the same name. And so now if I right click on here, I can choose a tag. I've got my red business one in here, apply it to this Google search console email, go back to Gmail, refresh. And there you go. You've got your corresponding colors between Gmail and EM client. Just one problem with that, however. If you now go into your menu, and this is something to watch out for, if you now go into your menu and you go to your tags and you say, actually, I don't want this anymore. I don't want this business one in here anymore. Uh, you delete it thinking, well, I'm, this is tags now. This is, a, I, I can't manage Gmail tags from EM client. And technically that's, that's correct. However, you can manage where those tags are applied. So if I now save and close this, it's removed from EM client so it strips it from every single email in your Gmail as well. So if I now go back to my Gmail and refresh, business is gone. The reason I know this is because I've done it and I had a load of email categorized under my business label or I actually look at, them, look at them as folders really. I'm still someone who looks at these sort of things as folders in email. Well, I've got nothing in it. There's nothing in it because EM client stripped every single tag off those because I deleted it from EM client. So you can see that although the two do work together and there is information transferred, it's not really a harmonious relationship. One thing I can do is go to menu and I can add a new tag. So if I add something totally different, just call it this one, it's got a nice purple color by default. And I say, yep, that's fine, this one here. And now I apply that tag to an email so I've now got this one applied and created solely in EM client. Well, that information does get transferred across to GM, uh, Gmail. So I now have this one colored, obviously differently, the default color for Gmail labeled as this one. And if I go into my labels and I manage my labels, you'll see that it's actually created a label called this one. So if I go back into EM client and delete this, from here, 
Well, it strips the it does the, all the same stripping of of emails as the previous one did. But if I go back into my Gmail now, this it's going to have to. Uh, I'm just going to reload this. It leaves this label in place. So EM client cannot remove a label from Gmail, but it can add a label into Gmail. So I'm now just going to manually remove this from here. So there you go. I mean, the main purpose of this video, I think it really is to just um, show you how you can tie up your colors between EM client and Gmail. But it's also to just give you a word of warning that although the two do work together, it isn't perfect and it's a real limitation. It's a shame because if labels were sorted perfectly between the two, I would probably just use this for all my email. But for now, I always end up going back to just normal webmail because I'm just always worried about wrecking some organization of my emails. But um, I hope this helps. And if you've got any questions, please do put them in the comments. I'll try and answer them. Um, I don't use this software permanently, but um, I do like looking at it every so often to see whether or not they've made any improvements. The version I'm using on this video is current at time of recording, which is 8.0.3385. Thanks very much for watching, and I will see you soon.